Hello and welcome to this episode of the Word Contrast series. In this video, we're focusing on two double vowels, which are I and A. So what we'll do to begin is to have a quick look at how to make these sounds. And then we're going to look at some word lists. Um, we'll use the listen and repeat approach. So I will read a pair of words and then leave a gap for you to repeat what you've heard to really help us to practice these two contrasting sounds. So let's begin by looking at how to make the sounds. So what we've got on the left, for each sound we've got two images because these are double sounds. So on the left we've got I, and as you can see at the beginning the mouth shape is open but in a sort of relaxed manner and as we so we make that first sound which looks a bit like the ah sound that we would find in cat um, so it's a similar mouth shape to that and then as we make the sort of i type sound at the end you can see that the mouth is more closed the teeth are closer together but the corners of the mouth are stretched out. It almost looks a little bit like you're grinning or smiling. And what we're doing is we're smoothly moving from that first position to the second position. I, I. And hopefully when you make that, that sound, I, you can feel that your mouth is moving. If the mouth isn't moving and changing shape, you won't be able to make the sound correctly. So that's really important and on the right hand side then we've got a you can see that the beginning shape is different to the one on the left um, it's a little more stretched the corners of the mouth are just upwards in a, a slight smile so we've got our I on the left and our a on the right and with a my tongue raises up a little bit in the middle. You can see it's a little bit higher in the mouth. Whereas with I on the left, the tongue is lower. So there's two things we're thinking about here. On the left, I, the mouth front is relaxed and the tongue is a bit more relaxed. Whereas on the right with A, the tongue's a bit higher and the mouth, the lips are sort of slightly more tense. And again, with A, we've got two parts to this sound, the e eh and the i, eh, that blend together to become a, so there needs to be mouth movement. That's really important. And also with every double vowel, what we have is a stronger initial part. So that the a eh and the e eh part of these double vowels is stronger than the i. Eh. The i eh is weaker. So just to reiterate, that's I and A. So let's look at some word lists. As I said, we'll use the listen and repeat method. I will read the row, the first two words, and then I'll leave a gap for you to repeat and we'll move down the rows. So when you're repeating these words, repeat them out loud, nice and clearly, and maybe you want to record yourself to see how you sound. So let's give it a go. My May. Die Day. By Bay. Pine Pain. Bite Bait. Light Late. Fight fate, type tape, try tray, lice lace, rice race, wide wade. Kite, Kate. Rise, raise. 
file fail pile pale nile nail while whale height hate climb claim well done so if you want to do some further work with these ia sounds check out the description below for links to other videos and of course if you check out the playlist um, you'll find many other word lists where you can contrast two different sounds. Um, the channel's updated regularly, so if you don't want to miss out on new videos, then click to subscribe. And of course, feel free to hit the like button and to leave any comments below. Um, maybe you've got two sounds that you find difficult and you want to make a request for a video. Please put your requests in and I'll do what I can do to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.